What is up guys? I am back with another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build this town hall. Alright, so if you want the foundation is that the building sits on as well as the building itself, then from left to right you're going to want 59 blocks, and from front to back you're going to want 45. Then if you just want the building and you actually don't want the foundation, then from left to right you're going to want 49 blocks, and from front to back you're going to want 29. So the space at the front in between the lines you should have 10 blocks of grass, and then everywhere else you should have 4 blocks of grass. So we're going to start by doing the foundation around the building first and if you don't want to do this part I'll just have a time on the screen right now that you could skip to when I start doing the building itself. But the blocks you're going to need for the foundation is going to be cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slabs, stone slabs, stone brick slabs, stone bricks, and oak leaves. So I'm going to start here at the front right hand corner of the shape is the outer shape and you want to make sure you have your block of cobblestone. We're going to go from the corner right here and count towards the back eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you want to go over to the left one block so you're on the grass. And you could place three blocks of cobblestone in a pillar form like this. Now you want to skip over three spaces to the left and do another pillar right here. So we have two in total, three spaces apart. You then want to do this five more times. So you should have seven pillars in total. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven pillars. Now I'm gonna head over to the left side. We wanna make sure we're lined up with these pillars and we're gonna be doing the same thing over here. So starting on top of this grass, not on top of the concrete, but right here, you could place a pillar then you just want to place six more, so there's seven in total on each side. Okay, so it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven on each side. Okay, now. Let's go ahead and the space in the middle is a little bit bigger. That's because we're going to have the staircase going up right here so that you're actually on the foundation so you can enter the building. So continue with your blocks of cobblestone and I want to make sure I'm lined up with the pillar on either side and you could place another three like this. Then you could go from the corner of that and place another three. Then behind that place another three. So we just have two right there, two right there. This one is shifted over one extra block. Now you want to go over to the corner again. Instead of making it three blocks in height, you then want to make it two. Go from the corner and do another two in height like that. So from up above, this is the shape is that you should have just diagonal blocks. Next, you want to head over to this pillar and you just want to do the same thing. So one right there, go out, is that we're going to have two more, go out, have two more that are two in height, then go out and do the last two. So from up above, this is the shape that we have. Next, continue with your full blocks of cobblestone. We're going to go in between all of the pillars now. And you just want to place three blocks like this at the bottom layer in between all of the pillars. All right, I'm then going to do that on this side as well. Okay. 
Okay, so it now, remember we are at the front side of the build. This is what we should have so far. The next thing I'm going to do is work my way towards the back on the right and left side. I'll start over here at the right, and we're just going to be doing the same thing that we did here with the pillars. So go behind this pillar, skip over three spaces, and we're going to have one more here. You just want to keep doing this until you're right on the edge of the concrete, not on top of it, but on the last block of grass. So I'll just see you guys when I get back there. Okay, like I said, on top of the grass, so we're like right in the corner, but we're not on top of the actual concrete. Okay, now let's go over to this side. We're going to be doing the same thing, so remember just three spaces in between each one, and just work your way towards the back. Okay, there we go. Now here at the back, we're not going to leave any space in the middle like we did up at the front because we're not going to have a staircase going up here. So you just want to continue the pillars straight across from one side to the other the same way that we did the right and left side. So three spaces apart for each one, three blocks in height, just all the way to one side from one side to the other. Okay, and there we go, it should all work out like that. Next, like we did up here at the front, we ended up adding one layer of cobblestone towards like the bottom layer in between all of the pillars. So we're gonna continue doing that in between the rest of the pillars, pillars that we just made all the way around the shape. Alright, so there we go. We have like the shape of the pillar, or not the pillar, but the foundation, like that. So that's how big it's going to be. The next thing we're going to do is just switch to your stone slabs on top of all of the pillars. So we're going to start right here. We're not going to place it on top of any of these shapes here. So I'll go ahead and do this one as well. So now on top of all of the rest of the pillars, you just want to go all the way around and add a slab on top of them. Alright, there we go. Just one stone slab on top of all of the pillars. Next, let's switch to our cobblestone stairs. We're going to go at the front side. Well, we're going to do this all the way around, but make sure you're like facing the front side of the pillars like this. And you just want to place a cobblestone stair facing up, then an upside down one, and then another one on top of that facing up. So we just made a cool little design, and this is going to be just kind of covering up the front side of all of the pillars. So I'm going to do it here as well, like that. So, not too hard, just one facing up like a regular stair, one upside down and one facing up. So I'm going to go all the way around and do this to cover up all of the pillars. Here in the corners, we're going to have it on this side, then we're going to turn and we're going to have it on this side as well. So the corners are going to have two like that, everywhere else it's just going to be facing or it's going to be covering up just the one side. Okay, I am almost done. Just finished up the last one, right? Yeah, so there we go. I went all the way around and just added some cobblestone stairs just to add a little bit of, a little bit of extra detail to the front side of the pillars instead of just leaving it flat. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is add the rest of the detail in between the pillars. So I'm gonna go on the second layer now and I just want to add three cobblestone stairs that should all curve into each other like this. So I'll do it one more time. So one facing in that direction, 
one facing in that direction and then the middle one is just going to be facing forward so that they all curve in together. So I'm going to go in between all of the pillars and continue doing this. Then we just have to add the railing above this layer. Then we have like the walls of the foundation done. We just have to add the actual like ground that you walk on. So I'm going to go all the way around in between all of the pillars and do this with the stairs. Alright, I'm just about done doing the second layer with the stairs. As you can see, I have one more here. And then, for the railings, we're going to continue with our cobblestone stairs, but then we're going to have a slab in the middle. So we're going to have a stair facing forward like that, and then a slab in the middle. So I'll do that one more time. So a stair like this, a stair like this, and then a, a, uh, a slab in the middle. I was going to say stair. All right, so one more time. Stair like this, stair like this, and then a slab in the middle. So I'm going to go all the way around and continue doing this. And then, like I said, this is the last step for the wall of the foundation. Okay, I am just about done with the final step for the walls of the foundation. So I'll show you what it should all be looking like here in a second. Alright, there we go. So this is what we have for the walls. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Now, one last thing that we could do real quick. Since we really don't have that much, or we really don't have any landscaping at all. I just decided to grab some oak leaves and I'm going to put this, put these in between all of the spaces. Just wrap it around the foundation as well as this little part that comes out here. For this part, you don't need to fill in the corners, but I guess if you wanted to, you could. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'll fill in this, this, and then that. Okay, so now in between all of like the pillars basically where the stairs are, in between all of this, we're not going to fill in the corners here, unless you want to. But I'm just going to go all the way around, just add some oak leaves. And now that I think about it, what we should do first is actually delete the... Oh, whoops, don't need to do it here. But we should delete this green concrete. So I'm just going to grab a grass block. I'm just going to delete the concrete in between all of the like uh, spaces here for now. And I'm going to leave all of the rest so we know exactly how the shape it should be. Well, actually, you know what? I guess I'll delete the shape for the big outer shape since we have the foundation done. But I'm going to leave the building shape there in the middle for now. That's going to be covered up either way, so we don't need to worry about that. But for all of this green concrete here, I'm going to delete all of it. So I'll see you when I have this done. Then, as you could see... What I was doing before with the oak leaves, you just want to add those in between all of the spaces, like right here. So just like here, here, and you just want to go all the way around. Like I said, you don't need to fill in the corners, but you could if you want. So I'll see you when I have all of the concrete deleted and filled in with grass, and when I have the oak leaves done. I'm going to go around here and delete all of this as well. Okay, I think I filled in all of the spaces. I just left this for now because we still have to add the slabs going up. You know what? I guess I'll just delete it. It's going to be covered up, but either way, I'll just uh, go ahead and delete it so I don't have to worry about it. So there we go. So yeah, I just went all the way around, deleted all of the green concrete for the outer shape, and filled in all of the spaces in between the stairs with oak leaves. So like I said, that's going to be it for the foundation walls so the next thing we could do is start adding our slabs here for the little staircase that leads up and then we can add our layer of stone brick and cobblestone just a pattern uh, between those 
all the way around so that you can still walk around and then that'll be it for the foundation i think that's actually all i'm gonna do for this video is just the foundation so in uh in part two maybe we could actually start working on the house or the uh, building itself we'll see maybe i could do the shape for the building in this video anyway this is what the foundation is looking like as of right now now let's start bringing up our staircase and filling in the edge for the foundation so i'm gonna switch to i'll just use my cobblestone slabs first and i want to add a layer right here lined up at the edge of these blocks then go behind that and add another layer just right behind it now we're gonna go up half a block and add another two on this layer then we're gonna go up half a block again add another two then we just want to go up a half one more time and this is going to be the main foundation okay so we'll add our texture later with our stone bricks but first i just want to mark out where we're going to have the actual foundation okay so you can switch to your cobblestone and what we're going to do is well maybe i should have used stone brick here instead here i'm gonna switch to my stone brick yeah <laughs> it'll be easier since there's not too much cobblestone and what i'm gonna do is i'll just start right here and we're just gonna add a layer of stone brick here at the front side from the inside i'll just bring this towards this side as well so just one layer of stone brick right along this wall all right so not too difficult now what we gotta do is push this back until we're lined up at the fourth pillar so we're gonna be lined up at this pillar here so we're gonna push it back like that let's do that on this side so we could just have it done we don't get too confused all right that's the third one we gotta go back one more so lined up at the fourth pillar so one two three four okay now what we want to do is bring this across until we're lined up with that pillar there at the front so that's the second pillar i guess if you want to you could also pay attention to this shape here so you're lined up with the green or the concrete whatever you used now i'm gonna fill in is this space all right then what i'm going to do is bring this straight across to the other side okay so now after we have this brought up over to the other side i'm actually going to grab a potion of swiftness and i'm going to fill in all of this space in in like this rectangle shape that we have here so all of this space within this rectangle shape that we just made All right, I just about got the foundation filled in. All right, so if you remember, we lined up with this pillar here. I don't know why I ended up like worrying about that quite yet, but make sure you're lined up with that pillar. I'm currently at like this right side, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna push this back. I'm also lined up with the concrete. Gonna push this back all the way to the back side. Okay, then you wanna make sure you're lined up with this pillar here at the back. And once again, we are just lined up with the green concrete. And you could wrap this all the way around to the other side. Okay. Then, once again, we're going to be lined up at that pillar as well as the green concrete. We're going to fill all of this in. So this is just going to be a little bit of a walkway that just goes around the edge of the building. And then this section here is where we're actually going to be placing the building. That's what that big empty rectangle is going to be. All right, so I'm going to use a potion of swiftness. And I'm going to fill in all of this space around the edge now. Okay, so I just about have it all filled in. One last thing I'm going to do 
is I just want to add one more layer just wrapped all the way around the inner edge of the shape here so it makes it a lot easier for us to place the foundation of the building. So I'm going to go on the inner edge for this shape and just add one extra layer all the way around on each side. Okay, I'm doing the last side right now. Then one more thing that we actually have left to do is the texture with our cobblestone. So here, or well, actually cobblestone here, stone bricks here. So for this, for this spot, instead of using full blocks, we're just going to use some stone brick slabs. So I'm going to add all of the texture. All right, I would say that is pretty good. I feel like we should have more stone bricks than cobblestone so that it doesn't look like too much cobblestone with the walls as well. That's why I decided to use stone brick here because when I go back to add the cobblestone texture, there's still going to be way more brick than cobblestone. I should have done that here, but I kind of forgot. So we're just going to add a little bit of extra stone brick than we normally would. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's do this last one right here. Now, what I'm going to do, I would recommend using your Potion of Swiftness when you actually start doing it, but I'm going to cut out just a bunch of random holes where all of the rest of the stone bricks are, and I'm going to go back with my full blocks of cobblestone and fill in all of the holes that I cut out. Then we have the foundation done. So what I'm going to do is just the building uh, shape, like the foundation for the building itself, the main shape of it. And I don't know, I feel like after I do the main shape, we'll just leave it at that for episode or for part one, because uh, this foundation kind of took up a lot of time. So I feel like we'll just leave it at that when like we have the foundation and then we'll have like the main shape slash foundation for the building. We'll leave it at that. So I'm going to go around cut out a bunch of random holes, use my potion of swiftness. I'm going to fill in all of these holes with stone, or not stone, uh, bricks, but uh, cobblestone. And after we have that done, we'll get on to doing the main shape for the building. All right, I added a bunch of holes throughout the foundation. And like I said, I'm going to go back with my cobblestone and fill in all of the rest of this space now. Alright, I'm just now finishing up with the texture, so I'll go up above and do a little flyby of what everything should be looking like. Alright, just this last section. Okay. So this is what I have so far. So like I said, that section right there, the reason why I didn't fill that in is because we're just going to be filling that in with dark oak planks for the floors for the actual inside of the building. So we're not going to worry about filling that in with stone because then we'll just have to delete it either way. But this is what the foundation of the main build is looking like. What we could actually do is clear our inventory because we really don't need any of that other stuff anymore. Let me get rid of my potion. And now, like I said, I'm going to probably do the foundation of the building. And then that'll be it for part one. Okay, as you can see, I actually decided to bring the shape that we originally had for the building. And I decided to place it on top of the foundation. Just makes it a lot easier because we can't see the shape underneath the foundation right now. So I just decided to do the exact same one just on top of the foundation. So if you want to do the same thing, all you have to do is make sure there's three spaces in between the wall and the shape here, all the way around on each side. Just as simple as that. Just leave three spaces all the way around. Okay, but now, as you can see, I have some pillar quartz blocks and bricks. So we're going to start by doing the foundation for the building now. I'll start over here at the right side. Like always, we're at the front. I'm going to go from this corner and I'm going to count towards the back 10 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, and 10. You then want to go over to the left so you're not on top of the concrete and you can place 19 going towards the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, just like that. Let's go over to this side and make sure you're lined up with this still. We're going to start right on the edge of the concrete and we're going to place another 19 bricks here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So in between these two spaces, or like in between these two walls, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces in between those walls for the brick. Now let's work our way towards the back. So I'm going to go over here to the right side. Go behind this brick. We're going to place another 18. So if you include this one brick here, it should be 19 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you should be right on the edge of the green concrete. Now, just so we can hurry up and get it done, let's just bring this straight across to the other side. We don't need to count the blocks. All you really need to make sure to do is make sure you're within the edge of, like the inner edge of the shape here. Then we could work this towards the front. So just a big rectangle with the brick like that. So that's like the main foundation for the building itself. So it should be looking like this. Next, I'm going to switch to my pillar quartz block. I want to make sure I'm lined up with this stone or like this regular brick here. We're going to place a pillar here. We're going to skip over one and place another one. So we're going towards the front. So lined up right here on the edge of that brick. Then let's go diagonal from that. So we're going to go right here. So um, basically we go to the left. We go here here and then boom right here so we left um i don't know it's kind of hard to explain we have this block we skipped over one we placed this we skipped over two and went over to the left and place that now what we're going to do is skip over another two and place one more to the left again all right then what we want to do is go back one then go over two and we're going to place one here we're going to skip over one and place another one. This might be a little bit confusing. I'll go back and show you what it should be like here in a second. But then you want to go diagonal from this. So we're going to do, we're going to go over to the left, then go up and then boom right here. Go over to the left. We're going to push this back two, and we're going to be right here. Then go over to the left. We're going to go back two. We're going to place one here. Skip one and place one. So it should be back here on the edge of the brick again. Uh, if that's a little confusing, this is what it looks like from up above. Just a nice round shape. Okay, so I'll go back. We have one here. We skipped one. We placed one. Then we went back one, two. Over to the left, placed one. One, two. Over to the left, placed one. We went back one. Went over to the left one. And then we placed one more here. Then we skipped one, then we placed one. Go over to the left, go in, then to the left, we placed one here. Then go back two, to the left, place one. Go back two, to the left, place one. Go back one, and then boom, place one more here. So this is what it looks like from up above again. Okay, so that's all looking good. Now, that is actually all I'm going to be doing for part one is the foundation of the building took up a lot of time. So all we really did was the foundation for the house and then the foundation or not the house, but the foundation for the building and then the foundation for the building to sit on. And that's about it. So this is what we should have so far. 
Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for part one for this tutorial on how to build this town hall. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part two. Later. I'm alone, I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own and know. I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want adventure, then fly to home. But if you wanna travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us?